Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you one error we actually make in Compose and how to solve it. Let's get started. So when you see Compose, sometimes you use derived state of. I already made a video about derived state of, you can check it on my channel, but for short term, let's say you have some data that is changing too much. Let's say that you are observing some field, some state within your composable, and you want to run calculation, but you don't want to recompose if the data end result is same, i.e. the derived state is same. Let's consider this as some kind of calculation, computational calculation. So derived state of usually do two things. It caches the thing and also it notifies the different composable that are depending on that state to recompose. So I'm going to show you an example and how to get to that point. The problem here is that we are having a remember with the data and then in the derived state of we are using that data to do that thing. This actually won't work as expected, but I will tell you why we actually wrote that in the first place. All right, so let's pretend you are having this, uh, we have a fruit list in which you are having a simple thing. So we have this main activity and here is the emulator running here. All right, so here I have a list of fruit and I can search for something, okay? Fruit with, that contains F, it will display fruit F, okay? Now I want to add the layout inspector to see something. Now here is what I'm doing actually in the code. I'm filtering the fruit base if they contain the search text, that's simple and I'm using the trim. Now what will happen, which is problematic, is that every time I'm changing this text, this one need to change, and this one, since it is used here, need also to change. Let me show you. So here you can see there is fruit text, and here there are the all my stuff in here, lazy column and everything. Let's say I remove F, everything will get recomposed, right? Let's say I add an F, everything will recompose. Now if I press a space, it will be an empty thing, right? But the problem is that, this will get recomposed. Everything's recomposed. Okay, this makes sense to recompose, but this list doesn't have to, right? So if I press another space, another space, another space, another space, as you can see, many of them, like the result here is recomposing. So that's the issue. What we usually do, we use derived state of. So what we are telling is that if the result here is the same, don't tell the other people who are observing this thing to recompose. So a quick clash will be derived state of like that. All right, now it will tell you here that creating state object during composition without remember. We are going to lose this. So we usually wrap this with the remember, to remember it across recomposition, of course. So we are going to remember it, put it here. That's it, that's the only change you need to make. Okay, there is problem here. Okay, let me just do the by, so I don't have the issue, and rerun it. Now we are going to fix that issue. So here is the app one more time. Let me press F in here. If I press F, it makes sense to recompose, okay? But the second F here, it doesn't recompose as you can see. Lazy list here doesn't recompose, okay? If I keep pressing here, it is not recomposing. It's skipping recomposition as you can see. So that's the beauty of derived state of. Now, here is a problem. A lot of cases, a lot of time, you are getting this filtered item or you are getting the things to depend on, which is, for example, the fruit or the search state kind of in a parameter, okay? So let's evaluate that and let's pretend you are having the same case. We're going to do one actual refactoring to this one. I'm going to extract this lazy column to a separate compose. Let's call it fruit list, okay? So let me just extract it, fruit list. This padding value will be a little bit, okay, no, no problem. I'm going to pass padding value and the filtered items. I can do something. I don't want to pass the filtered item themselves. I want to do the filtering logic there the composable here and then the fruit i'm going to take it from the outside the search text i will get it here so the search text will be a simple string that i'm going to do it like that now if you run this code right now it shouldn't work i will tell you why it shouldn't work well i'm not passing here just bash the search text so the search text is a state that is coming from the outside okay because it is here in the top app bar i don't have to pass the padding value actually but okay that's fine no problem now let's run it. The problem with the code right now, as you are going to see, is that it will not work at all. Here is what will happen. If I press F here, it won't do anything. As you can see, I'm pressing F, F, F again, 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 but it's not getting filtered. Why? The issue here is that this composable, this new composable fruit list that is depending on search text, which is used here, this one is not getting re-executed because of this change, which is problematic. What we usually do as developers is that we know, ah, okay, this is a remember, so I'm going to pass the search state as a parameter, which means this code or this block of code will get re-executed every time this changes. 
Logically, it makes sense. Now, if you run it, it will work. So here is a code. If I try to search for something, FF, it is searching. But the problem is, you can see it is keep recomposing. Why it keep recomposing even though we are using derived state of? This is the problem. I'm going to show you what is the actual problem. The problem here, since we are wrapping this remember here, so every time this key change, this one will get re-executed. It means every time we are creating different derived state of. To confirm this property, let me just use here the value. And outside it, I'm going to do a simple as out of the filtered items. This filtered items, it will be the object of derived state of. And you will see that it will be a different thing every time, whenever I'm pressing something. So let's run it. So as you can see here, we have this derived state of with this instance something. Okay, now if I try to search for something FA, you can notice that every time we are getting a different derived state of because this block is keep re-executing. The idea is to have one derived state of, which is the derived state of, of course, derived state, and this state will tell the other composables whether to recompose or not. Okay, so it needs to be unique. So here is how we can fix it. The problem, as I told you, is that this search state is, is being used here inside it, and there is no idea for this composable to know that the search state has changed other than to keep it here. Actually, there is one other thing, which is another side effect. We call it the updated state of. So here is how we can do it. We keep an updated state here in our composable. So we created an updated, let's call it query because this is a search query. And then we remember the following. Remember updated state of the search state. All right, so that's the idea. Then we use this updated query here instead of this one here. Let me just do the by here. Okay, so now, so we use this updated query here instead of the search state. So this is what will happen. So whenever this changes, this will trigger this to change and this will trigger the inner things here to change. It means we don't need this at all. Okay, that's the solution. Every time you have something like that, you can refactor it to use the remember updated state of and then use it inside. And here, every time, as I'm telling you, this one should be kind of a heavy computation. Like you don't want to run it every time. That's why we are caching it in the first place. And then we are not recomposing if it is the same thing. Okay, so as I told you, it's doing two things. Now, if you run it, it will work as expected. And you will notice that this is the exact same state I need. So we are noticing here is the derived state that we got. I press F. You can see it is the same exact derived state of space, 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 the exact same one. And you can confirm it via the layout inspector again. Let me run it. There is a fruit list here. Now let me delete things here. Okay, it is recomposing. That's a weird thing, actually. It shouldn't recompose, but you can see here that it's not recomposing, actually. It is like it's saying that fruit list is recomposing, but not the items inside. The items inside are not recomposing at all. Okay, so if I press, okay, this means it's recomposing here, of course. If I press A, it will be a different result. It will recompose. But then with extra spaces, this here are not recomposing at all. Okay, it is recomposing. It's showing some kind of things here because we are doing different composable. All right, that's why it is showing things. Otherwise, if I, let me just do it in a different way to show you. Let me just put it back, inline it back line the function so here you can see i'm inlining the function what i'm going to do i'm going to re let me just put this outside it was here like that what i'm going to do i'm going to take all of this code let me do it in a different manner i'm going to call remember fruit list okay and then i pass just search state. here i'm just an extra function to remember something. So this would be a composable, of course. And I'm going to return all of that thing. So it will be state of. This will be state of list of string. And here, of course, we need the updated query inside it. Okay, so I'm going to take that. That's it. So this code will not get re-executed. Or if this changes, this will get evaluated, of course. If it is the same, it will not trigger recomposition. Let's run it, let's confirm it. So here we have the list. Let's wait for the inspector. So again, we have this thing here. If I press F, everything will be recomposed. As you can see, it's recomposing. If I press space, nothing is getting recomposed, as I told you. And here, you will see that the state is the exact same state, as you can see. 
right? So this is what I meant by not recomposing. So this is the idea on how to solve it. Let's summarize it again. Whenever you have a derived state of that is dependent on something inside, but you are getting it from the outside completely, okay? In our case, it was search state, like that. Search state, you are getting it from the outside. Here, there is no way to, for derived state to know that this has changed. What we need to do, we usually, what we, what we did actually, to re-execute this one whenever search state changes. But this will cause a problem because every time this will be changing. So the solution was to create an intermediary value, like this is the exact usage they put it for, remember updated state. I already made a video about it, you can check it. So here you can check it, here in the documentation, its usage should be used when parameters of value computed during composition are referenced by a long-lived lambda or object expression. In our case, this is our lambda, okay? So every time there is something like that, you can use this remember updated state. All right, this is how to solve it. I hope this video was beneficial for you. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.